Hi everyone, it's Caitlin from Really Big Plant, and for this video, we are going to be doing an unboxing of a whole bunch of orchids. I don't really know anything about orchids. I have very little experience caring for orchids, but I recently got my Phalaenopsis orchid, my moth orchid, to bloom. And <laughs> so <laughs> this orchid was actually given to me by my landlord when we first moved into this apartment, and I don't really like my landlord and I just kind of stuck this orchid in a south window and decided that I didn't care about it at all. But I recently decided that I wanted to pay attention to it and so I have been caring for it and it put out a flower spike a few weeks ago and just recently, within the past week or two, has started to bloom. So I feel really excited about this plant and feel like I did a good thing even though I just, you know, watered it basically. Um, but I got all excited this orchid bloomed and decided that it was time for me to begin my orchid adventure. So I ordered a whole bunch of orchids, specifically micro and miniature orchid varieties. This is kind of unlike me. I just picked a random seller. I literally didn't really do any research. I think it was like late Sunday night last week, past midnight, and then I decided I was going to order a bunch of orchids from this seller I'd never heard of. So <laughs> I ordered eight orchids. They're all different species but they are from six different genera. So a couple are more closely related than others. Okay, so now I'm gonna just open this box and we'll see what happens. So I really wasn't expecting this package to arrive today. I wanted to do more research and to be prepared with like something to say about these orchids, but they did not send me any tracking information or never notified me that they were sending the package, which I guess it's fine because it showed up. I mean, we'll see as long as the plants are alive, that's that's fine. All of these micro orchids are really humidity loving plants for the most part. And so I had been shopping for a couple of different little glass cases that I thought I would want to put these in, but I hadn't placed the order yet. So what I'm going to do first is try to make a little makeshift terrarium that I can stick these orchids in to just keep the humidity up. I scrounged all around my apartment and what I was able to find was basically just this bottle that I keep in my bedroom and I use to water the plants in there. I just use it as my watering can. And I feel like I've had this for like a million years. Who knows how old this is? But anyway, I'm gonna cut this up and just turn this into a little terrarium real quick. It's just temporary, so I don't expect it to look nice. It's just a purely functional thing. bottle is so crushed it doesn't even really fit back together. This again is not ideal. Oh man. Ugh. Okay that was a little painful but anyway here we have it. It's temporary and I'm gonna just put them in here. Close it off. I also should mention the company that I ordered from is called New World Orchids and the lady who runs the company, I believe is somebody who's been a collector in the community for a while, but basically from what I could surmise, the seller seems like a real knowledgeable lady who is very into orchids. So I just inherently trusted her. Okay, so now I'm gonna open this box. First thing, there's a goodie in here. Oh, it says the name of the company, New World Orchids. It's like a little multi-tool keychain. That's super cute. I appreciate that. All right, now, let's see. Okay, I actually love this. Like, you know, when you unbox something from like a different place, you get the local newspaper. Okay, so here's what it looks like. There's a bunch of individually little wrapped things. So, guys, I'm so nervous. I've like never had any orchids. So cute. Okay, so hooray, I'm so excited. So I wasn't sure if these were going to come mounted or what, but this is a little mounted one. This one is a Leptodes. It's the Leptodes Bonchiana. And so I ordered two Leptodes, that's the genus. And I got two similar ones because one is like the miniature version of the other. So this is the mini one. So I'm gonna show this to you, but I also am gonna take some B-roll tomorrow because it's dark out, it's nighttime, but I wanted to just get these out of the box. This is super cute. I've also got my little mister here at the ready in case they got a little dry. This one feels pretty dry. I'm just gonna like, you know, 
give it a little mist. It's just plain water. Look at how cute this is. My husband's sitting right over there. Yay. I might need to make another one of these or something. We might need to empty the salad out of the salad container. Okay, I'm putting this in my little world's worst terrarium. In you go, friend. This is such a fail. Okay, the next one. Okay, this is, I can see from the tag, this is the one that I was the most excited about, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's amazing. Oh my god, I'm completely obsessed with this. It's even smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, this, look at this. It's amazing, isn't this amazing? Do you like it? It's super cool. They look like tiny little, tiny little grapes. Little alien grapes. This is a Bulbophyllum Simplicilla bellum. I'm very, very excited about this plant. So this genus of orchids, as the name implies, Bulbophyllum, they have a bulbous leaf base. Yay! Bottle. Okay, I'm getting the hang of it. Okay, next. Okay, so this is a little dendrobium, dendrobium trantuanii. I'm really excited about this one. This plant does grow relatively large pink flowers for the size of the plant, and I think they're like really waxy. So I'm really excited for this to flower eventually, which is something that I didn't think that I would ever be saying about plants. But after getting my one orchid to flower, I'm like, I need, I need all of my plants to do this. A little dendrobium, my first dendrobium. Okay, into the bottle. I just realized what I need to do. Genius. These all hang. Yay! Okay, so this is the other Leptodes that I got, the Leptodes bicolor, which is going to be the larger version of the other Leptodes that was the first one that I unboxed. It's cute! Here they are together. So this is the mini one and this is the normal one. This one is really cool. So, oh, you just need to get to your water. I'm sorry. My dog's food and water bowl are right here and he's getting annoyed at me that I'm cluttering his little eating space. So much fluff and attitude. <gasps> okay, now that my dog just drank his entire bowl of water, he can continue. So this is a baby angel, which is some kind of cross. The fun thing about this is you don't know what color the flowers are gonna be, but there's going to produce pink or blue flowers just depending on the way the genetics ended up working out. So I'm very excited for this to eventually flower. Oh. This is crazy to me. So I don't normally even grow things in sphagnum moss. So I'm about to enter the world of sphagnum moss too. This is another dendrobium, but it's super different than the other dendrobium I ordered. Um, this is a dendrobium monoliform or maniliformi. This particular species is deciduous, which means that it actually drops all of its leaves in cold temperatures and will regrow them. Yay! I also think this one is super cute. This is so nice. Okay, so what happened was the seller did not send me the plant that I ordered, but she wrote a little note. She said that she traded this plant for the one that I ordered because it looked much better and they're really similar varieties. So I really like that. Um, I told her when I ordered that I was just getting into orchids. I know nothing about what these plants are. So I'm thrilled because if the seller thought that this plant was healthier and better condition, I am really into it. I will say the reason why I ordered the particular plant that I did was because it had pink root tips. And so I don't know if this variety has the pink root tips, but the reason why I ordered that plant was actually because of the roots, the aerial roots, not the plant itself. So, um, you know, if this one doesn't have pink roots, that's okay. I would rather have a healthy plant. I don't know anything about it or what kind of flowers it makes or anything, but 
it looks really cute and it does have two little growths or maybe even more than that so that's really nice because i only ordered one hooray and then this is the last one <laughs> this is the smallest cutest plant it's so small it is so small it's even smaller than i possibly could ever have imagined. Okay, this is a Shonorcus, Shonorcus fragrance, which I think is one of the more common ones. And it is a true micro mini orchid. I mean, look, look at this. Okay, it's too dark. I can't get my camera to focus on it. I'm gonna show you tomorrow, but it, it really truly looks like what you think of, at least for me, when I think of an orchid, this is the shape leaf form that I think of. And I feel like it really looks like a tiny mini version of my little, you know, Phalaenopsis orchid so small oh, oh this plant is so tiny i don't know if this is flowering size or not but i do think that they they flower at like an impossibly small size so it could be there's no moss or anything even on here this is just on like some little plastic which is probably normal for orchid growers but i again know nothing john snow this is gonna go in the box too that was a really great orchid haul. I'm gonna order from this site again. I'm about to place another order. If you are an orchid person and you know where to order orchids from, especially miniature varieties, I would love to hear what some of your favorite sites are. Please leave a comment down below. If you have any species recommendations for things that you think I should order. Thank you so much for watching this chaotic video. I'm so excited that these orchids came. I'm totally delighted and I'm probably gonna just be obsessing over these for the rest of the night and the rest of the weekend. The orchid journey begins. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!